Welcome to the quick view of Chibi Studio. In this video, we are going to explore Chibi Studio perspectives. The perspective CC++ is oriented to software development and project management. Indeed, it has a wide text editor area at the center. On the left, we have the Project Explorer containing a list of already imported projects. On the right, we have the outline windows containing an outline of a structured file that is currently open in the editor area. At the bottom, we have, among others, the console and problems windows that provide information about the build and flash phases. An essential thing to learn is how to import a project in the workspace. To do this, copy it in the default workspace location. Open the import window from file menu in Chibi Studio. Double click on the existing projects into workspace. Choose the default location as root directory. Pay attention to deselect copy projects into workspace. Check the project to import and finish. Another important thing to learn is how to create a new project. The best way is to duplicate a default one. To do this, simply copy and paste a necessarily opened project. Let's name our project. Check Use Default Location to place the new projects into our workspace folder, regardless of the original project's location. Now we need to edit debug configuration used during flash and run procedure. Rename launch file under the folder debug. Open it and search and replace the old project name with the new one. It should make three replacements. Through the appropriate button, we can build our project. The Windows Problems will list all the errors and warnings related to the build procedure. In this case, the error is due to the different location of the copy and the original project. To solve this problem requires a change to the absolute path Chibi OS in the make file. Save and rebuild. The build will end with no errors. The perspective debug is oriented to software debugging. Indeed, here the text editor area is very small. From this perspective, it is possible to run the program, pause it or execute it step by step using the buttons step into, step over and step return. Just below, we have certain windows that we are going to explore. On the top left, there is debug view that allows you to manage the debugging or running of a program in the workbench. As an example, when OpenOCD is running, we can notice it here. On the top right, we have useful windows, like that named Expressions. The Expressions window allows to evaluate expressions. To show this window, it must be enabled from the Windows menu, Show View. Note that the expressions are updated only when the execution is suspended or when doing step-by-step -step execution. At the bottom we have other windows like a terminal and the Chibi OS RT debug view. This plugin allows you to access some information about our OS like thread names, their execution order or memory usage. Note that to use most of these features we have to enable them in chconfh. To improve debug experience, it is always a good idea to disable compiler optimization in the make file and enable every debug feature. Always remember to come back to default conditions when the application is stable to avoid useless resource waste. You can find more info in the related article on playembedded.org. You can reach that article just clicking the overlay link.